Now the next core concept deals with, again, rational exponents. And if I have a to the m over n, the denominator is my root, and the numerator is the power that I'm raising it to. So 27 to the 2 thirds is the same as the cube root of 27 raised to the second power. So that we can evaluate this because the cube root of 27 would be 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 and then 3 squared would be a positive 9. So again here we use that core concept now. So my denominator is 4 so that's the fourth root of 16 and then that's raised to the third power. Well the fourth root of 16 is 2 because again 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. And then I raise that to the third power, and 2 to the third power is 8. Part B, it's the cube root of 27 all to the fourth power. And the cube root of 27 is 3, because again, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And now I take that and I raise it to the fourth power, which is 81. So again, if we take a look at these, the first one is the cube root of a negative 125. So again, since it's an odd root, I'm only going to have one answer. And negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is the same as a negative 125. And so the cube root of that is just a negative 5. Number 4, I have the cube root of a negative 64, and that's going to be raised to the second power. So the cube root of a negative 64 would be a negative 4, and then that's raised to the second power, it would give me a positive 16. Number 5, I have the square root of 9, or the square root of 9 to the fifth power. The square root of 9 is 3, and 3 to the 5th power would be 243. And number 6, that denominator, the index, is the 4th root of 256. And the 4th root of 256 would be 4. And then that's 4 to the 3rd power would be 64. All right? So again, the most important part with rational exponents is remembering that when it's a to the m over n, that the denominator is the root that we're going to take, and then the numerator is the power that will raise that root to. All right, I'd like you to open your book, student journal books, to page 176 and try to complete numbers 2, 7, 19, and 21. We'll check these in class tomorrow. Uh, other than that, have a great evening, Titans, and uh, see you tomorrow.